Hello, welcome to my channel again. We've got this beautiful brooch here and as you can see it's got lovely stone or shall we say glass. So what we're looking at um, here is not a, a real stone, it's only an imitation of stone and that would be uh, the topaz quartz. Um, we can see um, these kind of brownish citrine stones as well. So it could be imitation of citrine stone, it could be imitation of topaz quartz stone. Um, we see that this, uh, the glass actually has a really nice spark. We can also call this paste. Um, paste stones were very popular during the early 20th century because a lot of people could not afford to buy real stones um as you can see it's sometimes you know if you if you're not an expert on stones um you might think just a little bit smudged there you might think it's a real stone so this is how um how great how how well done these uh, glasses were sometimes it's very difficult to distinguish i mean imitation of stones definitely has a long history now i'm going to talk a little bit about the setting and why do i think uh, this is more um probably late 30s um a brooch rather than <coughs> early art deco or edwardian piece first uh, sign uh, for me is the the edge of the setting if you can see it's quite um, straight it doesn't have the um, it doesn't have claws and it doesn't have any um, edged um, um, edge, uh, edges um, or curve here um, it's 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 very straight and that we can see, I think, in later jewelry. Also, um, what is a sign here is the this clasp. You know, the um, it's hinged and hinged um, clasps uh, were made later on. Uh, I don't think I've seen any hinged clasps. Um, in, I mean, Art Deco era uh, goes um, all the way to late 30s, so I presume we can call this Art late art deco you see there is a little chip i think that the little chip is kind of giveaway of that this is a glass rather than real stone because it's got that um glass chipping uh look on it you can see that this is underneath a bra so it's gilded bras um it looks like um, the brush hasn't been worn very much because the gilding is still uh, in very good condition and um, yeah, we can see like quite old style hinging here, uh, but like I said, the, the, this, this thing, this mechanical kind of clasp is um, significant for later era. So it's probably late 30s, late Art Deco era. I think it's a beautiful um, piece. Uh, you know, someone who loved uh, citrine, who loved topaz quartz, um, and this color, you know, that looks like a star. Um, we can see that um, in the in the the glass cut. It's um, it's got um, eight pointed glass, uh, eight pointed uh, star um, uh, shape. So um, it's a really lovely piece um, full of um, kind of hope, you know, if we are talking about its uh, symbolic uh, value. So um, definitely a lovely piece. I'm really glad that I have it in my collection. I definitely, um, you know, I'm, I'm grateful that I can hold uh, pieces uh, such as this in my hands. Um, and um, I hope that you have enjoyed this little presentation video about another beautiful antique piece of uh, jewelry and I will see you in my next video. I hope 
you will come back and if you would like to see more introductions such as this one um, you can um, subscribe and click on the bell um, symbol to get more videos like this and I wish you a lovely day and I will hear you next time. Bye bye!